Good morning. This is Dr. Atta Roman Khan, consultant in internal medicine. Today I am going to discuss about heart attack. Um, heart attack is caused by an atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is clogging of the blood vessels of heart, which is not uh, produced overnight. It takes decades to get your blood vessel clogged by the plaque. Uh, in the United States, every 40 seconds, someone has heart attack. And annually, more than 800 people suffer from a heart attack. Heart attack is mostly preventable. The risk factors are those who are, who has a family history of heart attack, and first history of heart attack, age 45 and older, and 55 and older for female, those who are obese, those who have diabetes, uncontrolled hypertension, those who have autoimmune disease, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, etc. And also those who had a history of preeclampsia during their uh, gestational period. The patient who, who is indulged in heavy smoking as well as drinking alcohol and other illicit drug abuse, they are also more risk for heart attack. The, we can prevent this heart attack very good. It should not be a losing battle. We should win and we must win. In order to do so, we have to quit smoking if we are a smoker. We have to do 30 minutes of everyday walking, biking, swimming, or, or any kind of freehand exercise in your office setting or home. The main thing we have to do is diet and exercise and give up the all bad habits. What are, what are the foods that are very helpful to your heart? Fresh leafy vegetables, nuts, look at this kind of legumes, peanut, walnut, hazelnut, and also almond, and also fresh fruits and vegetables you can keep in your office, whether it's your home or your office. You can eat always a, a little bit of all this stuff. Instead of eating biscuit, cookies, pizza, drink, instead of drinking soda, you can drink plain water. Or low, low sugar, uh, low sugared fruit juice. Uh, what are the food that are good for your ha heart? Green leafy vegetables, fresh fruits, whole grain cereal, berries, avocados, fatty, fatty fish, cod liver oil, and all kinds of nuts, legumes like walnut, peanut, hazelnut, peas, lentils. You also can drink uh, green tea, which is also good for, good for your heart. You can also control your eating, which we call portion control. Suppose if you are given a big plate of uh, food on your um, on the table, you can at least you can spare some of the food. Do not wash the food. You can spare some of the food and eat later. Or you can tell if you are if you are going to restaurant, you can tell them if you don't want to eat all, take it at home, then you can, you know, somebody else can eat or you can eat tomorrow. And I'm not recommending to uh, wash the food. The food is very important, but you have to control on the dining table that what we eat, we have to limit our uh, food. 
and make sure we are using vegetable oil vegetable oil non tropical uh, vegetable oil tropical vegetables are palm oil coconut oil is not good they have plenty of saturated fat uh, also we can use we should not use butter we should not eat hard margarine which is full of uh, trans fat and we have to avoid processed meat processed food as much as we can also cane soup we have to avoid we can eat we can use olive oil uh, corn oil canola oil sunflower oil soybean oil safflower oil peanut oil and eat chocolate if you can sometime instead of eating cookies which has plenty of sugar if you are overweight you have to make sure you lose weight the standard is less than 40 inches in case of male less than 35 inches in case of female in terms of waist circumference there is measurement of waist how do you measure your waist the highest point of your hip from either side make a tape and make a measurement and remember that cholesterol there are two kind of cholesterol uh, LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol LDL cholesterol is deposited in the injured blood vessel the blood vessel can be injured by drug abuse uh, also can uncontrolled can be injured by um, uncontrolled blood pressure and also uh, diabetes mellitus which is not if it is not controlled it can cause some damage in the blood vessels so in the damaged blood vessel there is a uh, formation of uh, arterial uh, the deposit cholesterol deposit cholesterol triglyceride calcium and other waste product gradually they will be uh, blocking the arteries of your uh, heart or anywhere in the body LDL cholesterol is removed by good cholesterol HDL cholesterol uh, if LDL cholesterol is deposited on the uh, otherwise smooth blood vessel injured blood vessel then HD, if you have lot of HDL cholesterol HDL cholesterol will will carry it to the liver to metabolize therefore we call it good co HDL cholesterol is good cholesterol LDL cholesterol is bad cholesterol we have to be very careful and very alert that heart disease is not a death sentence we can we can work hard become proactive to fight it off and we can um, we can advise our children that heart disease is not a death sentence we have to be very careful and in terms of diet and exercise and everything from from our childhood i hope this video is helpful to you please subscribe the channel dr atar rahman khan i will see you later thank you